This intersection is taking place in Londonderry, Northern Ireland, with a river foil behind me. And it covers Columba, who sailed to Scotland. The scriptures are Genesis chapter 12 and the first verse. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Psalm 51 and the 12th verse. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 16, and the 15th verse. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Heavenly Father, we thank thee for the life of St. Columba who was prepared to leave his own land and go to Scotland in the Caracal along with twelve companions in the year 563. And he sailed to the island of Iona and he took the truth of thy word, the truth, the pure word of thy gospel of redemption. This predated that which came in from the Church of Rome. And he was mightily used by thyself, on, not just in Iona, but also he was used to convert the pagan king brood of Inverness. Unfortunately, in more recent times, Iona has been overtaken by that of the New Age spirit. The very spirit, not of Christianity, but the, the spirit of paganism. The spirit of that which worships not thyself in spirit and in truth, but worships other spirits. And it's this cry unto thee for the restoration of the joy of salvation as would have been known through thy servant Columba and those who went with him. And Columba was used so mightily in Scotland. And it's the cry of the gospel once more going to every creature in Scotland that this intercession is made and that the spirits of paganism, the spirits of Romanism, the Roman Catholic Church and the spirits which are of the Antichrist spirit working through the new, through New Age, that are brought and exposed in thy throne room in this intercession, and that there will be a restoration of the gospel which Columba preached, the gospel of the atoning blood of the Lord Jesus Christ the gospel of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, his ascension and his glorification. Nothing but the pure, pure word of God of the Antioch line, which was known by thy much later servant, John Knox. For these teachings of Columba the pure church prior to its infiltration by the Church of Rome and 
for thy for John Knox himself, who stood against the Antichrist spirit of the Roman Catholic Church, and particularly Queen Mary, that he would not tolerate that which is not of thy pure word and of the redemption in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ necessary for salvation. This has been brought right out into thy light that the hearts of the people of Scotland will once more be opened to the pure gospel of redemption and that there will be conviction of sin and the turning to thyself in repentance to seek the cleansing of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and to for a mighty move of the Holy Ghost to bring thousands upon thousands upon thousands of souls out of the darkness of the New Age, out of the darkness of the Roman Catholic Church, out of the darkness of rebellious Protestantism, found in much of the Church of Scotland these days and that there will be a, a restoration of that which is in line with thy word, thy pure word, the word of truth for thy glory and thy glory alone this is asked on the strength of thy word if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you, that you, Father, shall be glorified through thy Son and by the mighty working and operation of the Holy Spirit once more in these days. Amen.